What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another video. Good morning, guys. How you doing? Got a little more energy today, guys. That's right. Wasn't that bad last night. We did a good job. We got out of there a decent time. Ten hours. <laughs> Got to go in early today, guys. We got a meeting today. We got to meet the new manager. Yeah, we got to meet the new manager. Wife just finished feeding the ducks. All 20 of them. It's a lot of them now, guys. My family done grown. Sorry, homie. A lot of kids on the bus stop, man. It's good to see young kids going back to school and college, guys. It make me happy when I see it. Bring back a lot of memories. It's only two important days, in, well, actually, three important days in um, high school, guys. That's the first day and the last day of graduation. My first day, boy, going back to school, I had to be sharp. That's for sure. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. So normally, guys, we shout people out on Tuesday. That's what I think we're going to do today. You're gonna shout somebody out today, guys. You're gonna shout them out today, and I'm gonna read them tomorrow. I just want to shout out my whole entire um, YouTube family, guys. Each and every one of you guys. I can't name you all, and I don't want to keep saying the same name because there's so many of y'all that make up this, that make this channel great. So I just want to shout out my whole YouTube family. Everybody that's rocking with me, I'm rocking with you. That's for sure. We're going to the double D's, guys. I get excited when I think about the double D. I had to get that coffee this morning. Wifey says she's drinking some coffee this morning. So I'm going to get her some coffee. We're going to do it, guys. Got the phone on, waiting on an order. If you don't know, guys, I try to make my video early in the morning whether I get something or not. You know, I'm up 7.30, ready to rock and roll. I found another spot so Rick can have that Chick-fil-A. I'm going to the other Chick-fil-A. But I'm still up early, Rick. I'm still out to beat you, buddy. I might swing up there anyway. Excuse me, guys. That's right. We going to Dunkin' Donuts. I'm like a kid when it comes to Dunkin' Donuts. I gotta get back on eating my breakfast, guys. You know? Me and the wifey girl to join the gym, guys. I gotta get, gotta get my body back together, man. Start doing some yoga. Start stretching. That move put a beat down on me, guys. I ain't lying. Felt like I played in the NFL for one week and got hit by everybody. <laughs> Ooh, that sun is bright. Oh, my God. Gee, cuss. Shades on the day, guys. Good Lord. Sun is shining right in your face, man. I look like that little emoji with the shades on. <laughs> My funny shaped head. I want to shout out to all the people that's doing online studies, getting that degree. I want to shout you guys out, man. It's important to further your education. 
a lot of y'all that have jobs like in the um, business world I just want to give you a piece of advice always strive to get that extra education especially in the business world guys it goes a long way I remember back in the day when I used to apply for an upper management job they used to always say hey did you ever think about building your education and you know I was like well I have a lot of experience, but I got passed on a lot of executive jobs because I didn't follow my education. So I have been uh, doing, you know, some, some some studying in business, thinking about uh, getting my associate degree this year. But uh, I've been going to, uh, I've been taking online classes for a while. I might switch on to down here. But I took a break. I took a break. But I'm thinking about going back. But I might do like my wife. My wife is getting her bachelor's degree in uh, business administration. Same thing I've been studying. So, guys, I just, a little piece of advice. Don't be scared to go back to school. Don't be scared to further your education. Education is everything in this world. You need it. God knows I need it. Can't wait to get the day to work today, guys. I like I like our new manager, man. I really do. So, we got a meet and greet at two o'clock today. I have to be there at two. Today's gonna be a long day for me, guys. Every day is a long day. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I just want that coffee because I need it. All right, all right. Just do a U turn and drive slow. Hope everybody's making some DoorDash money, guys. I haven't went to a school yet, man. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm not really. I am, but I'm not really because we have so many dashes out here, guys. So I'm just gonna escape. I mean, I'm just gonna scrape up whatever they don't get. You know, Chick Fil A, Taco Bell, McDonald's, Wendy's. They do. They do the job for me, guys. If I can get them all day, man, my customer rating gonna be back up to a five. I haven't seen my rating lately. Thing. Well, is that this? Is that the same? They haven't dropped any, so that's good, guys. But uh, if you're new out there, please don't worry about your ratings. It's gonna go up and it's gonna go down. We ain't gonna have no control. But if you want a, a good piece of advice, when you get fast food restaurants, guys, when you can get there and get it there early, try to uh, make sure you get there when the bell go off. I mean, leave when the bell go off. That way you got a great chance of getting the food early and hot. I notice that every time I do a McDonald's, Taco Bell, Wendy's, and I'm able to get up there and get that food delivered quick, guys, my ratings go up, man. That's why I say I do them all day. You got to take advantage of that. Once again, I love seeing kids on the bus stop, man. Get that education. If you're smart, if you're a smart kid and you get bullied because you're smart, continue to be smart. Let somebody know something, guys. If you see something, say something. Don't ever stop being smart because that goes a long way. Because trust and believe, they keep saying you getting good, good grades, they're going to try to befriend you so they can get good grades. Knives shopping knives, guys. I like hanging around smart people. Because you pick up on some things, man. Smart people make you smart, guys. If you, if, if, if you listen to them and learn. Alright, guys. We had the double D.
I can take my shades off now. I don't want no th nobody think I got punched in the face, but the sun out here is just terrible, guys. You got to protect your eyes, man. All the time. Protect your eyes. My wife get on me all the time. You need to put shades on. You, the sun is killing your eyes. All right, guys. I got to get this coffee, man. I got to tighten this skin around my eyes. I got to pop them open. Pop, pop. <laughs> Trini, what's up, man? Bakari, what's up, man? Uh, got a lot of respect for you guys, man. Animal lover. I want to shout you out. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your honesty. And I also appreciate um, your motherhood. So, thank you. And I have a lot of respect for your decision. Thank you so much. I'm glad you are on my channel. All right, guys. Say my little prayer because I want Maya to be there today. Lord, I need some good, 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 good coffee. Please let Maya be in there. I need a good coffee today, guys. You know. It worked yesterday. I'm going to see if it worked today. All right, guys. I'm going to get my coffee, man. I'll see y'all in a minute. I'm back, guys. My prayer worked. I was there today. She was there. I got sent a video. My buddy Bomb was there too. <laughs> uh, he made my day, guys. He made my day. All right. Uh, so I had my keys out, guys. Baby Christmas, man. Yeah, give me some old man shorts. Big pockets. I got little pockets, man. Come on, get out of my pocket. <laughs> uh, we'll go Chick-fil-A for a little while. Guys, we're gonna sit at Chick-fil-A for a second. I need to try to get an order. Yeah, Vaughn was in there, guys. You don't know who Vaughn is. Vaughn is, um, he worked at Chick-fil-A. He knew there. Cash rest. I told him my name, he started laughing. As soon as I walked in the door, he said, k -Fash. <laughs> Like he sneezed, k -Fash. I said, what's up, Vaughn? And he just busts out laughing, guys. Every time he said my name, he just busts out laughing. I think he's laughing at the way he said. Tyra, she didn't drive through, but she made my coffee for me. Uh, I don't know if it's, he laughing at the way he said, because I laugh at the way he said. But he's like, k -Fash. <laughs> Then he just busts out laughing, guys. People in line looking at him like he done lost his mind. But it's okay, Vaughn. He's a student. I'm pretty sure he go to USF. But shout out to my man, Vaughn. Appreciate you. I said, Vaughn, can I get the family discount? He said, who your family? I said, you, you my family now. Can I get that con that, that, that discount? He said, stop it. <laughs> I said, family do get discount, right? He said, you're not my family. I said, I'm your family. He said, you're my friend. <laughs> I said, okay, then your friends get the discount? He's like, no, no, no discount. I'm like, all right, brother. I wish I could record him, guys. He said my name so funny, guys. He just, he make his own self laugh. I appreciate that. I want to shout out my man Benji too, guys. I got this young man at work, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I done ran over the curb. Shh. MG, I ran over the curb. I want to shout out Benji. He's turning out to be one of my best employees, guys. Again, two days in a row with efficiency of 100 plus. So I know y'all hear me talk about efficiency. That's just when they're, um, if they have like 10 minutes to um, do the order and they do the order in nine minutes, the efficiency go, it, it goes up. So I appreciate people getting work done on time. So Benji, with the why? Yeah, Benji with the why? Continue to keep doing what you're doing, man. You're doing a great job, man. I appreciate you. I know you're doing it for me. And I really appreciate you, buddy. 
You're doing some good things at Coca-Cola. Tamala Wynn. I got them names in. I should be hearing something soon. Then so they're going to put them at the front of the list. So the names are in. I'm going to try to get all them young men the job that you sent me. Uh-oh. We got an order. I know you better stop playing. No order, guys. No order. When they go off one time. Oh. I think it done signed me out. I've been getting signed out a lot, guys. Yeah, it put me on pause. I don't know why it put me on pause. I lost their mind. I'm gonna sit up here for like maybe five minutes. I haven't been here for a while. Uh oh, Popo at Chick fil A. Woo, 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 woo. I want to shout out all my police officers, firefighters. I know you have a hard job. I know some of y'all police officers get on our nerves, but those that's doing a good job, I want to shout you out. My Hillsborough police officers. We watch the video now. I want to shout you guys out. Continue to protect and serve and treat everybody right. I appreciate you. Because you know if you pull me over, you know what you're getting. I'm going to the hospital because I'm going to be butt naked with my hands on the steering wheel. They're going to think I'm crazy. They ain't going to shoot me. They're going to take me to the hospital. I just don't want to give them a reason to think I'm going for something. <laughs> That's for sure, guys. That's for sure. Pull me over. They're going to say, we need the ambulance. This guy is butt naked in the front seat. He need help. I'm just going to tell him, guys. I just don't want to make no mistakes, guys. You know? So, but all the good cops out there, man, I want to salute you. I want to thank you. You have a hard job. I wouldn't want to have your job. For sure. I want to shout out all my people that are serving in the military. Appreciate you protecting us. For foreign powers. Appreciate the job that you do for us. And I hope they up your, um, you know, your um, military discounts. Yeah, guys, we shouting people out today, man. I want to shout out all the Chick-fil-A workers, all the Dunkin' Donut workers who make me look good by giving me my food early and hot. I want to shout you out. I want to shout Ginger out for, for just terrorizing me, chasing me around the house, barking at me when she get mad. <laughs> nah, Ginger's a good dog, guys. She's a dog that want to follow you around. She, she, she just, she just love to be loved. She driving my wife crazy, though. Cause it's time for her to do her schoolwork. And Ginger don't let her breathe, boy. I want to shout out all the teachers that's teaching our kids education. I want to shout you out. I got some teacher friends out there that's dashing. Baby girl, the dasher that teach. Uh, I want to shout you out. Keep doing what you're doing. I hope y'all teaching them, you know, stuff that's going to help them in life and not hinder them. I don't remember nothing I learned in high school, man. I went to high school at, at you know, Southern High. Uh-oh. Just an order. Come on, give me an order, man. I want an order, Bond. I want an order. Yeah, but I don't remember nothing, man. I just remember all the teachers that I like. But I, 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 I just don't feel like I learned anything. Cause back then, man, we were so bad. They did at Southern High. Southern High, man, got hit with all the inner, pro inner city projects. You know, you had Flag House that went there. You had um, Murphy Homes. You had Lexington Terrace. You had Cherry Hill. You had Westport. 
you had Lafayette, you had Perkins, all the projects that had all the bad kids, including myself, they integrated us to one school, man. Guys, this is no this is no lie. My first day of school in ninth grade in 1984, I went to a school called Southern High, and when and I, I'm I'm dead serious. When I first went there, guys, it was predominantly Caucasian. When I first walked in the door, the next week it was all black. I, I just didn't understand it. I can count the white. If, if you go pull up my my um yearbook, man, they them, them people took all their kids out that school because they had like six or seven or eight uh, projects that went to that school at one time. You know. I think it was wrong, but I probably took my kids out too, man, the way we was acting back then, man. Shoot. We had a good principal, though, Bloomingfield. I think it was Bloomingfield or Bloomingdale. He didn't play, guys. He didn't play. I never been suspended a day in my life. I got sent home. I never went home. I ain't go home till school was over with. <laughs> <laughs> I intercepted that letter. My sister Ann write like my mother. I remember I got sent home one time. I got Ann to sign for me. <laughs> Ma, you didn't know this. We was little, so you can't beat me now. The 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 uh, what is it called, guys? When your time run out and you, and your parents can't do nothing or, or the law can't do nothing. I forgot what it's called. But yeah, Ma, it's expired. You can't beat me now. But yeah, Ann signed for me, man. Ann write like my mother, man. Ann got pretty handwriting. Not no more. I don't know. I ain't never seen her write since. I want to shout out to my whole entire family that watched the videos. I appreciate your feedback and love. I want to shout out my sister, Ann. Shafala, I hope you feel better. I got called my youngest sister. My mom told me she was in the hospital with ammonia, so I got to put her on the prayer list. So, guys, here's the people that we have on the prayer list. We have Miss Weeks' moms. We have MG Moms, we have Big Rick, we have Big Tim, we have Malachi, and we have Alyssa, and we have B Glenn Moms, I mean Pops, suffering from cancer. Uh, I want to put my sister Shafala uh, on the list. She has ammonia. I have to call and see how she's doing. I know I've been a bad brother, man. I got to call her. I see another one of my dashes sitting up here. That's why I can't get nothing. Yeah, if she's sitting up here, it's like two or three dashes up here. So I'm about to rock and roll. I don't know why I listen to Steve Harvey. He don't do nothing to get on my name. Yeah, guys. We got some dashes up here. Another dash to pull up. We got like six... Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five. We got five dashes up here, Rick. I doubt if you get anything. But it's cool, guys. I don't get mad, you know what I mean? I like sharing the money. I ain't making the money that I, I used to make because I'm only working two or three hours a day, guys. That's from A to B. If I get lucky, some days I'm just working an hour. So I'm going to head on back to my sweet spot. I'm going to let these youngins have it up here. You know what I mean? I let him have it, guys. Yeah, you know, I wait to him, cuss him out of my head, taking my money. But I told him where to go at, guys, and I'm glad, guys, because they, they, they making money. I'm not complaining about the money. I do well. God always taking care of me. Tyler, thank you for this coffee. It's another 10, girl. Oh, man. So I've been watching her make it, man. She just take she just seemed like she measured everything. She looked like a chemistry, a chemistry back there. She stirred real slow. This is the spoon barely moved. Baby girl be doing her thing, man. She she make good coffee, man. She make me proud, man. And I'm glad, man. I always compliment her on her work, guy, because she's doing a great job. And it's important that you let people know when they're doing a good job, guys. So everybody that did a good job last night to pull over a hundred and um, had a hundred and fish at my job, I want to thank you. Appreciate you.
Keep doing what you do. Hard work do pay off, guys. Trust me. I'm talking to somebody who worked hard all his life and it's paid off. I haven't had, never had to want for anything because working hard paid for everything. Put the kids through school, you know. Provide for my provide for my mama whenever she need anything. Provide for my sister and them whenever they need anything. So hard work do pay off, guys. But you got to be willing to work hard for something. You know? I can't stand the kids, man, when they come to work. And I say kids because some of them is real young, you know. They never had a job before. They know they're doing wrong, and when they get caught, they get mad. I done seen it too many times. You know you wrong, and then you're going to get mad because you wrong. Somebody tell you what to do, you want to I'm gonna give a bunch of nothing. But guys, if you're in leadership, a lot of y'all say you gotta earn respect. But with dealing with these kids these days, guys, I found that it's, it's best to give everybody a lot of respect and demand all that respect back. At work, guys, I give a lot of I give a lot of respect. They haven't even earned it yet, but I give them a lot of respect. But I demand that back. I demand it back, guys. And if you can, and, and, and one of the key things, guys, I'm, I'm talking about it because I mean, I like sharing my knowledge. Guys, the key to my ses success at work, guys, I'm the same way every day. When an employee see me coming, they know who's coming. They know that they're not getting, I don't have three or four different personalities. You know what I mean? You know, you've been around people. Like, when I when I make my wife mad, she's a different person. You know? Or if she's not talking, she's a different person. I can say, I don't know which wife I'm gonna go home to today. You know what I mean? I mean? There's nothing wrong with that, but when you working in a professional world, guys, they should never know that you're upset. They should never know that you have a personal problem. They should never know that you don't even like them. If you treat everybody like you want to be treated and treated with respect, guys, you'll go a long way, especially in the leadership world, guys. I used to do um, leadership training, and I just asked, I used to have the guys raise their hand. How many times have you heard somebody say they don't know which which of you going to show up? And half of the class would raise their hand. And I would say, well, you know, that's not a good thing in the business world. And I explained why. Employees need to know who you are every day that you show up. And you got to be the same way, guys. If you're a jokey type of person, I'm a joke with you. If you're a serious type of person, I'm always be serious with you. I'm, personali I'm personality driven. I don't have an order yet, guys. I like one of my subscribers say, how you dash... And, 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 <laughs> and the day ain't even over with. How, how you do a Monday dash? Guys, I normally do all my stuff in the morning. Because, you know, even if I don't get anything, guys, I just want to try to give out some tips and whatnot. And I try to talk to you guys. I love you guys. I got to talk to you. So, yeah, some of my videos, are not, I'm not going to get an order. You know? But I made a promise to a subscriber that I was going to drop a video every day. And that's what I'm going to do. I keep my promise, guys. My word is the only thing that I had. You know, back in the day, we used to say, word is born. Uh-oh, hot damn. Got a order. Tariq Tafe. All right. Hey, go my wifey dance. Got an order. Got an order. All right, guys, we're going to the Tariq Cafe. We put you on pause for one second. So I'm going to take the wifey and Ginger on this ride along, guys. Because, um... I might not get another order today because I got to get some rest. But we're going to Tariq Cafe. That's the place that um, told Big Rick. You know, I'm, I'm competing with Big Rick. They know me at Big Rick because we go, we do so much. I told Big Rick he's the best um, dancer. So I went there, you know, I had to lean on him a little bit. I was like, hold on, Big Rick said you said he's the best dancer. What's going on? He's like, oh, no, both of you, both of you guys. Okay, okay, all right. 
I'm about to tie the place up, guys. <laughs> he started laughing. He said, no, both of you. I said that to both of you guys. I said, all right, man. You know, I ain't had the guns out, guys. I got, I got them in today, guys. I know you better get on across the street. Uh-oh, what's that? Probably telling me that my order is ready. Yeah. Guys, we're supposed to pick this up at 8.34. We're going to pick this up on time today, guys. So, guys, I'm picking up the wifey. I got an order. I don't like going over 30 minutes with my um, videos, guys, because I don't even watch videos that's too long. So I just want to thank everybody that tuned in. Good morning to everybody. Alyssa, I love you. Your YouTube family love you. I hope you're doing good. I got a surprise coming for you. Um, I want to shout out Malachi. I hope you feel better. I'm praying that you don't have to have surgery. I want to shout out Big Tim, man. I'll be there. Dollar, send me the information to the hospital. Big Tim going to the hospital on the 6th. I'm going to go there and visit him either the day after or two days. So, Tim, I will be up there to see you. I'm going to see if Big Rick want to go with me. Since uh, Big Tim is in Tampa, guys, he has surgery on September the 6th. I just want his wife, Dollar, to know that I will be there to visit him. And, um, you know, we're we, we going to do big things. I got my family praying for him. But we'll be there, Dollar, on the 6th. If you don't mind, if you send me that information by email, uh, I'd like to come see Big Tim. I'm not recording anything. I just want to come see him, see how he's doing, so I can help him heal up quicker, guys. You know, he made a video. If you don't know who Big Tim is, he made a video. Uh, Kingfish DoorDash and Dollar, I will have your money in hand when I come up there, so that's a good thing too, to help you out with anything so I supposed to get it on the $7 I'm going to make sure that y'all have the $200 so we're going to make sure that happens so alright guys, I got to go if I left anybody out oh, oh, come on if I left anybody out, I apologize but today guys, shout them out and I'm going to um, read the names tomorrow. So shout somebody out today, man. All right, guys. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl. I'm out, guys. If you dash, keep dashing. If you grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Peace.